Hello everyone, Brett back, Altitude Scale Modeling. Finally, part 14 of the Airfix 172nd B17G build series. Let's see. Well, there's the cover of the instructions. So, it's been a few weeks. What I decided to work on was the vehicles so we could get them into primer. Not much really to talk about. They went together well. This is... Now this is part of the Pushman, Cushman package car. The wheels are not attached because I'm going to paint them separately. Uh, this is the bomb trailer. This is the bomb truck, and so they attach to each other, like so. This is the cab for the tanker, F1 tanker. This is the F1 tanker, you saw me do that a long time ago. And this is the... Hold on, where'd it go? The auto car U7144. That's this one that hauls the tanker. Like so. You can see many parts. The roofs are missing. We're going to primer all that on the sprues. Yes, I primer on the sprues. So go ahead. Mock me, if you will. Oh, and I'm also going to primer this little suitcase here that goes along with the. 124 scale figure I made a little while ago. I'm going to be primering these in UMP slash Steinal Res Gelb Yellow because they're olive drab in their color and they'll be easier to fade and weather and the olive drab will stand out better on a yellow base. I have shaken this and stirred it and warmed it up. My Apex brush is what I use for primering. It's ready to go. So, let's get some primer going. I haven't used this for a while. Looks like it's coming out well though. Hold on. Let me get a glove. One. You know what they say, no glove, no love. So has anybody watching these gone out and built this kit all the way through? If so, leave me a message in the comments. After I get this all primered, I'll be hand painting a lot of the details.
okay you can see I got a little bubble on there a little spit right there that'll sand right off though this is a primer coat before I go any further I meant to talk to you on the bomb truck the only real problems I had were making sure these leaf springs lined up properly and this whole drive shaft lined up properly so it took a little work but it all did line up well in the end as you can see so when you're building this one focus on the suspension parts take your time if you take your time it will go together nicely on this one the auto car that goes with the trailer um, the suspension again the leaf springs keep an eye on them with the drive shafts going in the transfer case but also these flaps right here these mud guards this one's broke so I had to re-glue it back into place so be careful with that it broke after I glued it it wasn't that way out of the box I'm going to hand paint all the interiors and everything. Now with this one, I don't know if you can see it, but there is the instrument panel in there. I realized after I did it that I shouldn't have done that. So I'm being very careful not spraying primer into there. So it's going to require some good touch up. With this one, I did not put the instrument panel in, so I'm going to have to, it's going to be one of those that are primered on the sprue. Building the trailer does have its own separate video. And you know that I left the doors off and the pump and everything off with the hose to put in later. It will also be painted on the sprue or off the sprue. Now, the uh, Cushman package car, in the package the handlebar broke off. As you can see there's only one handle on the handlebar. And I couldn't find it. So I'm going to have to make one up. So be aware of that. Plus, I can't find the top part that goes on here. There's a, a roof part right here that goes on the package part. I can't find. I'm hoping it's just in another bag somewhere. If not, I'll have to figure out what to do with it too. And then the trailer. The trailer was actually relatively easy to put together, except right here, get this cat hair out of there. This part here that has two wheels on it, there's a leg under there, and if you don't get it just right, the wheels will not sit on the ground because it'll push too far up. These leaf springs went on okay, because with this one you could actually glue the axle part on the leaf springs first. And that went on okay. It's just this part right here. So watch for that. Here's one of the roofs. Every once in a while I blow a little out. Especially if you're doing what I'm doing, pausing and talking a lot.
All these wheels will need to be assembled. And as the Rolling Stones say, they're going to need to be painted black. I got a little tray over here off, off camera that um, I'm holding the parts on. These are the doors and the hoses for the tanker. You know, the doors open or closed. I haven't decided which yet, so I'm just going to primer up both. These screws I could have actually cut down since there's so much emptiness in them. This is the top for the other car. And the rest of the wheels for the trailer. A couple of fire extinguishers on there as well. Some injector pin marks are going to be cleaned up if you're going to leave the any kind of visibility with the roof. This is the pump from the uh, trailer and where the hoses Check down here, see if there's any other Nope, everything else in there is for the plane. So let me double check that I got all the sides of the wheels. The beauty of these wheels is, like that, they slip over the rims on the vehicles. So I can have those on, painted body color and everything else. And then paint the wheels black and put them over them. Get the wheels all painted and weathered. So, everything primered, looking good. Let me put the lid back on my primer. Should have done that anyway. Being the UMP Steiner Res primer, it easily cleans up with UMP airbrush cleaner.
you see this is all dried along here along the edge it's got a little crusty on it definitely don't want to flow that through your airbrush unless you plan on completely taking apart your airbrush Backflow dump. Give it a good wipe out. Sure, clean all the crusties off the bottom. Another dump. All cleaned out. Crusties right there. Clean, fresh, blowing out clean. A little drop more in there. Leave a little bit in. Set it aside. Alright, let's move this stuff out of the way. If I was using an enamel or a lacquer, I'd be over in the spray booth. So, you see it gives you a good dry to the touch finish pretty quick. This part is movable. So we can stand up on there. This attaches to this. This attaches to this. This goes in the back of this. This roof goes on this one. Here's the little Cushman package car. This roof goes on this one. And there we have it. Those are all the vehicles. Now, it is dry to the touch, but I'm going to let it dry for quite a while before I worry about painting and weathering. So I'm going to set these off to the side, cover them up. Hopefully find that one part I'm missing sometime. Now, here's where we left off on the B-17. Sorry for moving the camera. I was looking for something I thought was in there, but it's not in there. Super soft wiping brush. I just saw it and I can't remember where I saw it. Oh well. This is the Tammy Anti Static brush.
Now, as you can see, there's some white tack that was holding the gunner's turret on the back. And something's rattling around in there. We're going to have to check out. But leaving it sitting around for so long, after being primered, it's got some scuff marks on it. It's not worn into the primer, it's just scuffed because it's all still silky smooth. So I'm going to decide whether or not to touch it up. Where we are on the bomber is... Looks like the engines. So we got the wings on, we got the flaps, the ailerons on. The cowlings have already taken off, that's why they. Oh, I missed one. They're on by White Tech as well. So now we're at the point we have to decide do we start painting it? And then put the engines in. Or do we finish all the sub assemblies, then paint it, then put the engines in. So we can put the engines together, paint them. I don't want to put the superchargers on till later, or the exhaust shrouds on till later. The tires. I think I got the tires together already. Over here. Ah. With some of the bombs for the bomb cart. There's one tire. Two tires. Darn. Let's open that part I was missing for the push cart was in there. It's not. So. The tires are together, but no center hub yet, because I'll paint them separately. Yeah. Got the box. Empty sprue. P decals, pull it all out. So that to the side. Get all this out of the way and see what parts are in this box. So, there's the tail section. Taken apart. Here's the owls, the props, the rudders. Not the rudders, the elevators. So the part I'm missing for the pushman cart is not in here. Bummer. So I'm going to have to figure out what to do about that. So, here we sit. There. Nope. Figure out what's rattling around, but one of the bomb racks came loose. See why you shouldn't let things sit for so long. So, what I'm going to do is clean this all up, get ready for the next stage of painting, which
Let's see, which one am I gonna do? So there's two olive drab schemes. Obviously, I have to do an olive drab scheme. Because if I do a natural metal scheme, I've got to reprime the whole thing in gloss. So, should it be Man of War? Or should it be Thunderbird? Let me know in the comments below. Man of War. Man of War. Thunderbird. You decide and I'll do it. So let's make this a shorter video than normal. We saw us prime. Next we're going to work on the plane. If you're going on the dio. I'm going to get the engines going. And we'll go from there. Thanks for watching. Remember. Do I do Thunderbird? Do I do Man of War? Thanks everybody for watching. Let's decide this week so we can get another part up and get this thing painted.